Pokemon is everywhere, man. They keep announcing stuff left and right, you know. When they announce something new and you get excited, they announce another thing, and it's hard to keep up with everything they keep announcing. Um, you know, they announced Pokemon Sword and Shield, the new Dynamax form. You also have the new Pokemon Sleep game that's about to come out. And then there's Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, which is still very popular. People are still playing it. Pokemon Go has a lot of events inside the game. You know, that's popping. And then uh, Detective Pikachu, the movie came out earlier this year. That was very popular. It's everywhere, man and it deserves to be the number one highest grossing media franchise of all time. It is the number one spot followed by Hello Kitty and then Star Wars is like a number four and number five. I don't know man, but it deserves that spot. And you know I'm enjoying it, I'm okay. It's difficult to keep up with everything, but I'm okay with that. So they just released the trailer for the new Pokemon Masters. Now what the heck is Pokemon Masters? If you did not watch the E3, the Nintendo E3, you're not gonna have any idea because I didn't watch it, so I had no idea what it was. So when I saw Pokemon Masters, I'm like, what is that? Is that a new movie and then I saw like a picture of Pokemon Trainer Red and I'm like okay and then I saw like the other main characters of all the Pokemon games and I'm like alright I gotta find out what this is like I watched the trailer and pretty much I found out that it's a mobile game that's what it is a new mobile game so if you don't watch E3 like me then you wouldn't have known that so anyway I watched the trailer it looked awesome it looked badass so that's what's gonna come out this summer sometime soon probably next month like they released the trailer and they said yeah it's gonna come out this summer summer 2019 so it's a game for your phone a mobile game and it's gonna be released this summer of 2019 so I looked into it, I watched the trailer, and now the question is, what is the game about? Well, after watching the trailer, pretty much to summarize it, you choose a trainer, a custom trainer, and you go to an island called Paseo, and it's an artificial island, which means it was created by humans. And on that island, you're gonna meet a bunch of trainers, and these trainers are all popular trainers. The trainers from pretty much all of the Pokemon mainstream franchise games, you know, which includes like Pokemon Trainer Red, um, you got Brendan from Pokemon um, Ruby and Sapphire. Pretty much all the main characters, the rivals has the Elite Four, like all the Elite Four members, gym leaders, every single trainer you can think of is going to be on that island. And what you're going to do as the main character, you're going to go meet these trainers and you're going to form a team with them. So I'm going to create my character. Let's say I want to form a team with um, Pokemon Trainer Red and Pokemon Trainer Blue. You know, so we're going to have a team of three and we're each going to have our main Pokemon. We're, I guess, we're only allowed one Pokemon so for example Red you know the most popular guy in the whole Pokemon franchise number one guy he's gonna be with his Charizard and Pokemon Trainer Blue is gonna be with like his Pidgeot so we're all gonna have one Pokemon it's gonna be like our main Pokemon and I don't know what the main character the character that um, we're gonna customize um, what his main Pokemon is but anyway so they're gonna have their main Pokemon everybody's gonna have the main Pokemon you're gonna form a team of three and you're gonna go around battling other Pokemon trainers that are also a team of three so it's gonna be three versus three so that's what the game is gonna be about and pretty much your goal is to beat the Master League all right so the battling how is the battling gonna work well from what you see in the trailer it's not gonna be like traditional Pokemon battling in the mainstream games. When I saw it, it kind of reminded me of Pokemon Go, but it's different. So pretty much, um, you're gonna have your three characters battling and they're all gonna have their attacks. But one thing I found interesting is that one of the attacks is like um, X defense. X defense means like raise the defense of you know your Pokemon. So pretty much, I guess um, your attacks are gonna be either like healing items, attacks, um, stat boosting, and you can't just be like attacking you know like tapping and there's gonna be like a bar that fills up over time so it's gonna go like when the bar fills up to like the attack you wanted to then you use the attack and the bar goes down so if you want a big attack you have to wait like 20 seconds for that big attack a small attack is gonna be like five seconds so it's not gonna really be like uh, the mainstream Pokemon games like the mainstream is more like strategy this one is gonna be like strategy and you're also going to be fast you know so you're gonna have to like be pressing these buttons fast stat boost you know healing attack attack you know waiting for that bar to fill up so that's how the game is going to be played. I, I think it's an interesting concept. Like that sounds like fun, you know? And according to like the creators, it's going to be a game you can sit down, play real quick, um, you know, get like a quick five minutes. So it's not like Pokemon Go, you know, just a game you sit down and have fun. So I'm looking forward to it. That is what Pokemon Masters is about. I mean, that's all I got from it here. I'm going to read some stuff from the Pokemon homepage. So it says, many famous trainers have gathered to the island of Paiso. You are the main Pokemon, you are the main character in the Pokemon Masters. You will embark on an exciting adventure with your Pokemon partner of your own. Along the way, you'll meet various trainers, make new friends, and work together with them as you advance 
through the story. Once you've made friends with other sync pairs, so sync pairs, what that means sync pairs is like um, how I told you that each trainer has like their main Pokemon. So it's the trainer and the main Pokemon. So Pokemon Trainer Red and Charizard are one sync pair. And then uh, Pokemon Trainer Blue and Pidgeot is another sync pair. So you have to meet other sync pairs. Uh, once you make friends with other sync pairs, you can form a team. You can form a team that's all your own and aim become champion of the Pokemon Masters League tournament being held on Paiso. So there you go. That's the main idea of the game. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it when it comes out. It's going to come out, remember, summer 2019, which we're already in. So it could come out tomorrow for all we know. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that for those that don't know what Pokemon Masters is, now you know it's a game. And yeah, um, let me know. What do you guys think? Is it a game you're going to play? Is it something you're looking forward to? Or is it something that sounds kind of boring? You know, let me know. Drop a comment. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.